Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Talk on OTI Media. My name is Colin Kelly and thank you for coming back for another edition. On today's show, we're going to be talking about how to talk, how to open up if you feel that you are having mental health issues. It is a very difficult step to take and we're going to do that on today's show, try and help you open those doors. And that is the first step is uh, to always get uh, the talk going and be able to open up. I'm joined on today's show by Justin Quell and Justin, as we've detailed in our past episodes, we had Justin's story and, uh, you know, if you want to go back and check that one out, but Justin has had, uh, you know, his battles in the past and, uh, of course, he has the experience of being able to uh, start that talking process and get out the other side of uh, his mental health issues. So, Justin, I guess I'm going to open the floor to you and, you know, what and how should people, it's going to be different for everyone, but what and how should people take that first step and, uh, you know, start to talk about their, their mental health issues? Yeah, it, it is a difficult one, and um, you know, like I mentioned in the, in the previous one, um, you know, I, I I didn't, you know, while it was happening and while it was, you know, eating at me and consuming me and all the rest of it, yeah, you know, I never spoke to anyone, <clears throat> not one person, and that was that was my downfall. That was that was what got me into the, the, to the state that I got into. Um, my advice would be that look, you, you don't have to, you don't have to necessarily. Um, you know, talk to the closest people to you. It could be just, you know, I've been thinking about this over the last couple of days, um, Colm, since, you know, you approached me to do this. You know, one of the things that I've been thinking about was, and one of the things that I wish I had done was to, you know, just go to my doctor. You know, you don't have to tell anybody you're going. You don't have to shout out to the world or anything like that. Um, I mean, that's probably the last thing you're going to do, to be honest. But, um, but even if it's just going to your GP and just going, hey, look, I'm having these thoughts, you know, this is how I'm feeling, you know, what, what can, what can be done about it? Um, you know, so, uh, you know, some people like I found it very difficult even to talk to my dad um, at the time, you know, he had no idea. He had absolutely no idea and nor did my mum. And, you know, w- when they found me in a state that I was in, they, they just, it was, it was hard for them. They, were just, they had no idea. So just, you know, Speak to someone either that you feel totally comfortable and opening up to. It doesn't have to be your partner. It doesn't even have to be your parents. You could just be, you know, an old friend. Um, but even if it's someone that you don't, you, if you don't want to talk to someone in your circle because you feel like that, you know, maybe, you know, they go and tell someone else and then the message gets mixed and, and you know, it, it can be a bit daunting. But uh, Talk to someone. Just talk to someone. It, it could even just just be going, you know, just like I say, go to your doctor, go to your GP. Like I say, you don't have to tell anyone about it. I wish I'd done that. I wish I'd just, you know, said, Mum and Dad, I'm just popping out, and then I'll go to the GP and just and and talk to them and say, this is happening. I don't know why. Do you know why? Can you explain it? I think um, I, I think that's a, a really really. Uh, good way to do it because you know we talked on the other shows that it's any sort of health whether it's mental health or it's physical health you know you have to have those people and the professionals are there to to help you talk and like we're in a, an age now where we're recording this show and I'm in Ireland and you're in uh, Australia <laughs> and we're able to talk back and forth like this here but with uh, you know technology now even if it's as simple as a text message you know some people find it easier sometimes to send an email and to talk face to face about these sort of things or to send a text and maybe it's just something like to say you know I I need uh, you know to, to talk to you about something important, and that kind of opens the door. Then, if you go to meet whoever it is, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, and you you go in and the door is open, and they say, "Well, what is it you need to talk about?" Then there is that opportunity then to talk about it rather than you know just to be sitting at a at a table and you know somebody's in a rush to run out the door and you start the conversation. Then you need to have that time set aside because it is such an important issue. And talking about things that like you mentioned, talking to your parents. My parents always said to me. I, I'm there. You can talk to us at any time. But when you're in that situation, like you mentioned, it is it can be a very difficult thing to come forward and to talk to those close to you because sometimes people might feel, feel like, you know, I, I've let those people down. Is that something that maybe you thought in your journey that, you know, I don't want to say it to them in case they think less of me? Or was there any issue like that there with, with your decision? Yeah, it did. And, um, you know, one of the one thing that I, I'll never forget, you know, for, for as, as long as I live, was um, at the point where, you know, I took the attempt on my life, the attempt on my life, and then, you know, my my parents found me lying on the garage floor, just crying, shaking, and and and, and I was a complete mess. I remember it quite clearly. You know, and then an, an ambulance came, 
uh, took me to a private medical facility, uh, mental health facility and I, I just remember lying in the bed and I was just numb you know my, my all my family were there you know, my, my dad my sister uh, my my nan came and um, you know my mum walked in the room and I just remember her she took one look at me and burst into tears and turned around and walked out yeah that's one thing that uh, that really it still it still hits me a bit you know and um, it's tough and but the one thing that I will say is as hard as it is, it is to just go and talk to someone yeah. it's, it's important and it's probably the most important thing go go do it just go do it because you're you may be sitting there now thinking that you're worthless and your life is worthless there's nothing in your life that you want or or, or, or anything like that and that may be the case maybe that is the case because it you know it was for me at least that's how it felt um but go do it because you won't regret it. I mean, I, I never imagined that my life would turn out the way it has. You know, I, I'm sitting here now and I, I can't believe that, you know, I'm married to the woman that I'm married to and, you know, I've got, I've got two healthy kids, you know, I live in, a, live in this house and, and, you know, I've got a job. I've, I've got everything that I could ever want. And, um, you know, it can, it'll be a tough road, believe me. It, it's taken me years to get to this point, but my God, it's worth it. Yeah. It, it, it's worth it and it, it, it makes me smile every day yeah. so please um yeah please go talk to someone anybody can be anybody and like column says just open those doors just get that first look this is just how i'm feeling it doesn't have to be a huge one-hour conversation just let someone know just yeah. get it out there because you don't know you know this person how this person can help i mean if it's a doctor we know they can get the right help for you if it's a friend a trusted person, you know they're going to be there for you regardless. Um, so just just do it. Just go do it. And uh, like like you mentioned, if it's a, a friend, a family, those people there, they care about you, they love you, they're going to want to help you out uh, on your journey and to help you out of the situation. So definitely uh, open up those doors, as we mentioned, whether it's just a text, whether it's an email, you know, with Facebook now, whatever it is, just open up the door, get the conversation going. And of course, I mentioned with, you know, the online services that we have, just uh, check, you know, it's difficult because we're in two different sides of the world to, to, to pinpoint which services you should use. But there are so many different mental health services out there in all countries throughout the world. Go just head it into Google, whatever country you're in, mental health, and then it'll come up the options there for you to contact those and just reach out, contact them, whether it's somebody, you know, like uh, we mentioned with family or friends or whether it's somebody you don't know. Some people, sometimes they find it easier to confine in those people that they don't know, like you mentioned. So it's important just to start that conversation and to start talking and that there will help you get through. And if you haven't heard Justin's story, we did a segment on it and we talked about his journey. And now that he has mentioned that he is married to children, living a very, very happy life. So it's important to, to see it through, to get that conversation going and to make it out the other side like Justin has. And, and just and just, uh, just one thing, Colin, that I'll add is that, um, you know, I've had people, you know, I, I wrote this story, you know, almost a year ago and I've had people that I don't even know. I've never had any interaction with at all. Um, you know, they've, they've private messaged me on Twitter and just said, you know, something like, look, I've read your story. I, I, I go through the same thing. Oh, I've been through the same thing. You know, what do you do every day? You know, and just asking for general, yeah. I even got one yesterday, even, even just yesterday, someone sent me a message saying, you know, it's something along the lines of, look, I, I feel like, I feel like giving up, you know, how, how do you not give up? I wasn't really sure what they were referring to. So I just replied with a question mark and then they come back and said, you know, I'm, I'm feeling down. I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling depressed about myself. And, and I haven't even, and they hadn't even told, they haven't, they hadn't even told their wife. So, um, so people do it. It's good to, it's good that people do it. And, um, I think I speak for, I think I speak for, for, for both of us in that, um, you know, if you want to reach out to us, um, if that makes you more comfortable because you don't know us or anything like that, um, then, yeah, I'll I'll take those messages all day, every day, yeah, and absolutely, um, and, and I'll respond and and I'll reply and and I'll just I'll, I'll do what I can, even if you you know you could be in the states, you could be in Europe, wherever it is that you are, um, you know I, I will get back to you and um and I'll just 
advise and, and, and yeah, sort of do what I can and hopefully make a little bit of a difference. Yeah, it is, it's a massive world, but with the, the internet, it can make it a lot, lot smaller. And you mentioned sharing your story. Um, you know, if you're on social media, Justin is on Twitter at Justin1278, that is T-W-E-L-L. And he is, his pen story is a story that he did uh, in the media uh, just over a year ago, like you mentioned, and it has his story in it. And we also did a segment on it here. So you can read through that. And I think, like you mentioned, if you have that, you know, you have the, the experience of going through it and making it out the other side. And uh, it is very inspirational that people do reach out to you. And some people probably think that, you know, it's easier to, to talk to you about it than to talk to their family. You mentioned he didn't even talk to his wife about it. So just opening that door, helping each other out. It is very, very important to talk about our mental health. So this is another edition that we've done off Let's Talk on OTI Media. We're going to have a lot more coming along be sure to check them out all the different ways that we're trying to help people to promote and talk about their own mental health so until we're back with another one my name's colin kelly follow me on twitter at overtime ireland as i mentioned justin is on twitter at justin 1278 of course until we're back with the next one have a good one <laughs>